Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Bedrock Survival. Um, I know I've been gone a little while. Um, I was struggling. If you'd seen the vlog video I put out where I was trying to play Stardew Valley a little bit and talk, um, I was struggling for a while. I struggle with depression and bipolar disorder, um, pretty moderate anxiety issues and some other issues, but we're, we won't really go into that. But I'm back. Um, I'm feeling up to doing episodes again, so here we are, uh, standing on the roof of our new witch's tower. Unfortunately, I didn't record this in a time lapse, um, so I don't have any footage to show you guys. Eventually, we're going to be taking a tour down through the building. It's not, um, I haven't done the interior yet, but we're going to walk through it. Uh, but first things first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kick it over to a time lapse of me building the portal house um, for our nether portal. And I really hope you guys, um, I really hope you guys appreciate it. I hope you guys like it. Alrighty, everybody. Um, I know this is a bit funky. Um, it's not... Not a lot of people build like this. I just kind of freestyle. I never really plan anything. I see what I want to build in my head, and I build it. Um, and that's the witch's tower in the background. And you're going to notice some uh, minor texture changes, and like the grass blocks have grass texture on the side. Um, while I've been off camera the last couple of weeks, um, not recording, I've actually started playing on a couple of servers. Um, those servers have specific quote-unquote um, quality of life resource packs on them um, because I use those on there. A, I got a little accustomed to them, and then also when I loaded up the Let's Play world again um, to start working on it, it automatically um, added these packs to it so like our glass texture is now connected even though it is um, different panes obviously so there's no more border which I think is kind of nice um, it'll give us some options to do some more things with lighting and glass blocks and glass panes and stuff like that so again this is the portal house I went ahead and did the interior off camera um, which, I mean, it's not much of an interior. I usually don't build a huge interior around my portals. Um, in the nether, though, I will have, like, a respawn anchor, some storage, and a crafting bench, and a piglin bartering uh, station eventually. And I really hope you guys like this, and I really hope you folks like um, this one, too. Uh, I did initially, a couple of weeks ago, start to time-lapse when I was doing the Witch's Tower, and unfortunately, um, something happened during the recording process. It missed like half of it. And obviously I can't return, like turn back time and re-record footage that was lost. So I had to scrap all of that. Um, but I'm really proud of the Witch's Tower and I'm proud of the uh, portal house here. Eventually I might switch out the um, stone up there for nether brick 
I just didn't have enough. And once we find a crimson and a warped biomes, um, or not once we find them, once I get out to them more often and get some more uh, stuff, I'm going to put the colored blocks up there. I'm losing my train of thought. Um, but yeah, here's the witch's tower. We'll go inside. Like I said, nothing's been done in here. And we're going to go up. This is going to be an enchantment area. It's going to have uh, tons of books and ladders and stuff. Up here is where it's going to be like our apothecary area. Um, because, of course, witches do potions and they need their areas and stuff. And that's kind of my logic behind this. So we're going to have tons of brewing stations once I find a fortress. And we're going to put lots of hanging vines and plants and lots of stuff in pots. And it's going to look super cool and awesome. And then up here again is our little, uh, our little lookout area that you saw me at at the beginning of the episode. Let's hop up here. So yeah, um, that's kind of what I've been building. I've been doing some paths. There's a little dock down there in the water if you see it. Um, that's just a little one near the house. Eventually there's gonna be a, be a big one over here where you see the sandbank. Um, and then we're gonna build a chicken coop over here and our community garden area. I'm just doing a little, I figure this episode's gonna be real easy. It's just the time lapse for that and then talking about these builds and uh, what I've been up to. Um, I think we're going to start doing some episodes from the couple of servers I'm playing on. Um, one of them is called Mad Miners, and the other one is called Rocket Craft. Um, and I've actually been building things on those servers, but they're wholly different from one another, which is why I think it might be interesting to uh, do some episodes in those. I think I'm going to call it my Other World series. Um, and I really hope you guys like what I'm doing over there, too, because it's not... The stuff I'm building over in Rocketcraft doesn't really look anything like what we're doing here yet. I did build a small version of our Tudor mansion um, there just to test out how it felt having to gather all the materials in survival. Um, but it is much, uh, it, it's much less grand, it's way scaled back. Um, and then at the Mad Miner server, I've actually been building in a swamp. Um, they're both in swamps, actually, but I've been building in the swamp in more of a swamp style um, where I built, like, a Quonset hut. If you know what that is, it's the rounded buildings. Usually they have planes in them. Um, they used to use them for, like, army barracks and stuff like that back in World War II and, like, the Korean War. And I built a zombie spawner that looks like a giant, um, uh, what do you call it? A giant uh, faucet, a running faucet. Um, I gotta kind of tweak it a little bit, but we're gonna be looking at those too. I really hope you like this little bit of an episode. Um, I apologize that I've been gone for a little while. Uh, it's been hard to motivate myself, uh, with everything else going on and then also to just, you know, do these videos. I know I've got a few people that really enjoy them, um, but I really hope you like this and, uh, if you did, comment below. I'll be doing more of them. I've been tinkering around with Skyblock 2, so I think I'm going to be doing a classic Skyblock series. Um, but yeah, the video should be coming back uh, more regularly on the channel. And uh, I apologize, I kind of fall out, fell out there. Um, but I needed to take a little self-care and just kind of step away and try and figure myself out a little bit. Um, but we're back and uh, with a vengeance, so we're going to get things done and we're going to build lots of stuff and have lots of fun. Um, but uh, I hope you folks have a wonderful day and a beautiful tomorrow.